Hello everyone and thanks for joining School of the American Rifle. Today we're going to do a technical tip. This is something that I discuss in my armor and my build classes. Attached to my rifle here is a rapid rod. This is a Forward Control Designs sling keep. I think this is a version B. Don't quote me on that though. But these are intended to keep your slings uh, tucked up and tidy when you're not using the sling. So it don't get snagged up. Um, on top of that, I use it to retain this device here called a rapid rod. Now, some people would ask, well, why do you have something like that on your gun? And one of the main reasons that I keep it on my weapon is not because I use this as a cleaning rod. But what you can get, depending on the ammunition, depending on the environment you're using the weapon in, depending on lubrication, whether the gun's uh, properly inspect, gauged, etc. But you can get a casing. Most often it happens with steel cased ammo, but it can happen with brass. You get a casing that gets jammed into the chamber, and you cannot clear it manually by using the charging handle and allowing the extractor to do its job. Maybe sometimes the rim gets ripped off of the casing. But let's say, for instance, that this particular gun had that malfunction. So let me lock the bolt open. I'm going to put the casing in here. All right, so let's say we couldn't do this. We, we let the charging handle go forward and we hammered on it. We try to pull it back and the casing's still stuck in the weapon. So what you can do with the rapid rod is I would open up the pouch, and I've already done it on here. Take the rapid rod out, and it's a flexible rod that basically becomes solid. Pull on it. And as you pull on it, it becomes a solid rod. It has a little bit of give to it, and it's pretty long for the shot. I'm going to take this little jag off, but it's not on here as a cleaning implement. It's here, so when you lock the bolt open, you can come into the front of the weapon since the AR no longer has a built-in cleaning rod like the older A1s and A2 did in the trapdoor stock, and it allows you to keep the cleaning rod on the weapon. Put it into the front of the gun, go back to the ejection port, Bang, and then we can knock it out at the range. Now the rod is a little long for this purpose. Normally you want to have a rod that's as short as possible. Some people will keep a regular GI um, section cleaning rod in their range bag or their kit, and that's fine. It works the same way. But it's something that I do with my ARs in order to keep a cleaning rod on the weapon. Now guns like AKs, they have a cleaning rod built into the handguard system, so there's always a rod on those unless somebody's emitted it or changed the rail system that doesn't allow it. But uh, it's a pretty neat feature that's built into other weapons platforms, and it's no longer on the modern AR-15. So this is my fix to, uh, to sort of bring some homage to the older style cleaning kits that were included into the weapon. So you can pick these rapid rods up from Brownells all over the internet. They usually run about $20. So I have, like I said, on every one of my guns that doesn't have a fixed stock with a trap door. So I hope you found this technical tip educational, and thanks for watching.